Well, the options are endless, really. Local, destination, somewhere in between. Of course, the time of year will play a huge factor. Oh, which reminds me. Um, are you absolutely wedded, <laughs> excuse the pun, to peonies as your flower of choice? Because their season is relatively short in comparison. Victoria. Oh, I'm sorry. My fiance wanted to be a part of this meeting. And I'm just wondering what's keeping him. <laughs> the first time that Billy and I were married, I was arrested and hauled off to jail. <laughs> now that's a honeymoon to remember. I would like it if this wedding was um, a lot less memorable, at least from a disaster angle. Noted. In fact, I'd really like for it to be perfect. Because we're not getting another shot. And when Billy and I say I do, it's going to be forever. I'm sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Uh, well, let me think. Just everything. I'll leave the menu and the table linen swatches for you to go over while I just go check on the venue for availability. Thank you, Evelyn. I appreciate it. One, it is available. So all I need is a check to cover the deposit. Might have to hold off on this for, for a minute. Why? The wedding is still on, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. Good. Oh, since you're here, I'd like your input on a few things. Um, Victoria did give me a little history, so I am aware this isn't your first trip down the aisle. Hardly. That doesn't mean you can't have a traditional ceremony, if you want one, of course. For instance, will you be having a wedding party? Yeah, I assume so. There's, uh, there's people that both Victoria and I would like standing up for us. Yeah. Excellent. And vows, will you write your own, or do you the repeat after me thing? I'm assuming our own. See? Well, we're getting somewhere. Now, what about the bride's father? Will he be giving her away? I'm not going to speak for Victoria, but that's one tradition that we may have to skip. <laughs>